Dimensions Tech Tip, my name is Casey. In today's lesson, I'm going to discuss how to quickly resolve overdefined sketch issues. An overdefined sketch contains one too many relations or dimensions and therefore cannot solve correctly. There are three sketch statuses in SOLIDWORKS. They are underdefined, fully defined, and overdefined. The goal is to always get to a fully defined status. In this example, I have an overdefined sketch. I can quickly identify it is overdefined by observing my status bar at the bottom of the interface. Once I determine it is overdefined, I need to figure out how to resolve my sketch to make it fully defined. That's where the Sketch Expert tool comes in handy. Sketch Expert is a smart tool that helps troubleshoot issues caused by overdefining a sketch. To launch the Sketch Expert command, simply click Overdefined in the status bar. This will open the Sketch Expert property manager. The Sketch Expert only has two buttons to select, Diagnose or Manual Repair. Before I go over the difference between the two though, I want to point out a useful tip. If you expand the More Options dropdown, a checkbox appears. Selecting this checkbox will cause the Sketch Expert tool to automatically open whenever you overdefine a sketch in the future. I strongly encourage checking this box the first time you use Sketch Expert so you don't have to remember to click Overdefined in the status bar. Now, back to those two buttons. With the Sketch Expert, I can choose either Diagnose or Manual Repair. I recommend using Diagnose. Both tools will give me the same options, but Diagnose is much more interactive. Once I hit Diagnose, the software will calculate all potential solutions to resolve this sketch. In this case, it found four possible solutions. One of the reasons I like the Diagnose option is it will show you both in the More Information section and in the graphics area which relation or dimension will be removed if you accept that solution. The main reason I prefer using Diagnose, however, is that in the graphics area it will show you both the original sketch and what it will change to with that solution. After toggling through the solutions, I decide the second solution works best for me, then I'll simply hit accept and OK to finish the command and fix my sketch. Next time you run into an overdefined sketch, remember to make use of the Sketch Expert tool to save you the headache of manually trying to repair your sketch. Thanks for watching another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. Be sure to check back in for more SOLIDWORKS tips in the future. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.